both the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, as well as the story of William Wilson, are allegories about the good and evil sides that exist in all of us, and about the constant struggle with these two sides of the human personality case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, although the evil personality of Hyde, Mr. Hyde has taken over in the last minute, he also ends up dead at the end of the story, suggesting that neither the good nor evil can be separated from each other. This idea is also expressed in the novel when Jekyll says that all human beings as we meet them are commingled out of good and evil. The conflict between good and evil that is experienced by uh, many individuals is demonstrated in this novel when the good side of Dr. Jekyll becomes weaker and weaker every time that he gives into his temptation to sin, giving dominance to Mr. Hyde. How does a person develop feelings of shame or guilt about his or her thoughts or behaviors? One begins to feel shameful by comparing themselves to others or overthinking everything. Both are toxic and do no good. Most of the time, we rarely think about what we are doing in the spur of the moment until we ponder about it afterwards. The author of William Wilson, Edgar Allan Poe, represents this in a story when William Wilson admits the man he was gambling with was weak of mind and made weaker by wine. He should never have been able to play that night, but I had not stopped him. I used his condition to destroy him. The theme of this is guiltiness, and this quote shows how William Wilson is feeling a long uh, guilt after, long after the event occurred. All human beings as we meet them are commingled out of good and evil. In each of us, two natures are at war, the good and the evil. All our lives with the fight goes on between them, and one of them must conquer. Strange as my circumstances were, the terms of this debate are as old and commonplace as man. Much the same inducements and alarms cast the die for any tempted and trembling sinner. I had to fight to appear equal with him, but he easily kept up, kept himself equal with me. Yet no one else felt as I did, but this provided him with the better of the two. The theme is good versus evil, and at this point the evil deeds that William Wilson commits are trivial and the good side of him is still in control. Death approaches and the shadow which foreruns him has thrown a softening influence over my spirit. 